Welcome, and welcome survivors. You've all made it this far, and that is a tremendous achievement. However, I don't know how you still got here, Windows Phone, because this is not Redemption Island. Anyways, regardless, the tribe has spoken, and we will now count the votes. First vote goes to Mamiya. Second vote, Mamiya. And the winner of Survivor Camera is Mamiya. Congratulations, Mamiya, you are the winner. And to the rest of you, you will be exiled to eBay. This isn't really a reality show, but the truth is that the Mamiya 7 is one of the best travel cameras you can get. And we're gonna review it on my special 20th episode of Retro Camera Review in Panama City Beach. So come along as we take it out and try it out. Panama City Beach, home to over 25,000 visitors each day, this is one of the premier places to get your butt in the water. So it made sense that I'd bring one of the best medium format cameras I could with me. The darkroom was actually nice enough to send me this Mamiya not only to test it out, but also to look at how good the slide film could come out with their dip and dunk system and their growing line of digital scanners. Make no mistake, the Mamiya 7 is for serious camera people. At around two to three thousand dollars, this is a serious investment. But what you get is a pretty spectacular camera. At about the height of a beer can, the Mamiya 7 is one of the smaller 6x7 cameras you can get. If you're one of those photographers that likes to keep their camera out of the bag, you'll appreciate the smooth, contoured edges on every surface in this camera. Don't look for the same thud and metal feel that you feel on a Hasselblad with the Mamiya here. This camera is designed to be light and no frills business. The shutter speed maxes out at a 500th of a second. Not great, but considering all the lenses hover around f4, that's not a huge drawback. Now I got two lenses with this camera, the 80mm, the standard, and the 43mm f4.5. Apparently it's copied off of an 8-element Zeiss Biogon. Just look at the back glass on this thing, it's ridiculous. So while I was on this trip, I really, really wanted to take advantage of this wide-angle lens. But what was I going to shoot? Where was I going to go? It's just a beach. Like most photographers, when you don't know where to go, you just pick a direction and start going. So with a little help from California Cycles, I got some wheels and started scootering around. This is actually a completely staged shot of me on the scooter because I realized I was terrified of driving them on their open road. So instead I got my girlfriend to drive it. The first film we pulled out was the legendary 50 speed Velvia. Loading the camera isn't particularly easy, so you'll probably need to sit down in the shade to do it. And you only get 10 shots. Hey, what are you gonna do? It's medium format. And finally, I got to take a picture. Now, I'd never shot with this camera before, but I didn't realize it was going to look this good. I was also getting used to the Mamiya's weird spot meter with slide film. The auto meter is like, it's really just a spot meter in the middle of the lens, so what you want to shoot becomes a little bit more difficult light-wise. You kind of have to use your own judgment, otherwise you're going to, exposure's going to be all over the place. But even though some of my slides weren't perfectly exposed like this one, the darkroom was still able to give me a pretty damn good scan. Also, the resolution in these super scans is ridiculous. Based on these results, I'd say the Velvia 50 with the Mamiya is a great combo. But I had a ton of other films I needed to try out, so I kept this going despite the 110 degree heat index. It's just really hot and miserable in Florida. It's just a big hot lump of concrete and sand. This is pretty much my only salvation from the heat right now. I'm pretty sure the heat was starting to mess with my head. I feel like I'm in Peary Herman's Playhouse. <sighs> but I was still looking for that great shot, that one shot that would really show what this camera was capable of. The last place I took us out to was just the beach, but already the side effects of the heat were starting to sink in. All right, I just loaded in a roll of 100 Velvia, and now we're gonna take it out to the beach. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna get dehydrated. My girlfriend even jumped into the shower without a swimsuit. This is really hot. Not sure where to go, I frantically started running onto the beach looking for that photo. Reflecting on the situation, I realized that I was being a little overly ambitious looking for this shot. All right, two more shots. Ah! Because I finally noticed that Kelly was showing some serious signs of dehydration. Let's go back that way. We headed straight back to the car. Give me carry the camera. I was freaking out. We're gonna go in the car and we're gonna get air conditioned. It's gonna be great. It was really hard to get back because we were out about a half a mile. 
I might just fall out. No, you're almost there. Finally, we got to the call. How are you feeling out there just then? Uh, pretty bad, you know. You're getting a little delirious. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm... I felt pretty bad about this, so I got Kelly some McDonald's. Thank you for the golden arches that you've bestowed upon the world and for the hamburger that I'm about to eat. So I took Kelly back to the house and we rested. After that, I decided to go out on my own a little bit and finish up the video. When I went out to shoot with this camera on the last day, I realized it's pretty special. I ended up shooting some C41 as well, and those were exceptional. Overall, the Mamiya 7 is probably one of those cameras that's better than you are at photography. Well, there you have it. I learned a lot on this trip in Florida. This is one of the best travel cameras you could use by far. Is it right for you? Well, I'll leave that up to you. At least you know that it's a freaking good camera. I'm Daniel Lockman, and thanks for watching. Give me a like or subscribe if you like what I'm doing, and I'll try to keep doing more, even though it's really hot right now. If you really like the photos on this show, be sure to check out thedarkroom.com. That's where I got all my film processed and my super scans done. Plus, you can get your photos online before they're even shipped back, and you get this weird little flash drive thing. Seriously, that's one of the best places you could send your film. Thanks for watching. Ew.